Last week, my video on Serbia was about showcasing three different itineraries for you to choose from if you're planning to visit Serbia in the summer of 2022. In today's video, I'll be showcasing 10 places filled with pure natural beauty of Serbia that you haven't seen before ever. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Just Go with Amreen. Are you planning to visit Serbia during the summer of 2022? Do you want to know how to beat the crowds of the regular touristy places of Novi Sad, Belgrade, Zladibor? Well, this is the video for you. I am going to showcase 10 places and none of them have been mentioned in my vlogs ever before. These are off-beaten, unique places to discover in Serbia and they are just absolutely gorgeous, filled with history and nature and beauty. So, let's dive right into it. For the first attraction, I am starting with the most well-known one. It is called the Uak. Canyon. Uvac Canyon is approximately about three and a half hours away from Belgrade or an hour away from Zladibor. It's in the southwestern side of Serbia. Once you get to this place, you will see with your own eyes how incredible this is. It's a hundred meter um, gorge below you. You can see the river meandering through the Uvac Canyon. It is simply an unbelievable sight is the Studenica Monastery, which is a 12th century Serbian Orthodox monastery. Despite being destroyed on several occasions, this monastery has been treasuring some of the most beautiful medieval Serbian frescoes for over 8 centuries. This monastery is about 3 hours away from Belgrade. Um, its location is approximately in the central part of Serbia. Before I give you all that amazing information, I would like to announce that I am hosting a group trip to Serbia for one week. The first one leaves on September 25th. If you are interested in hitting such unique places and doing amazing activities with like-minded travelers from all around the world, then go ahead and hit the link in the description box and fill it out so that I know that you're interested and you will be one of the first few to receive $150 worth discount on this group trip. Located towards the southern part of Serbia, Novi Pazar is an hour away from Studenica Monastery. Novi Pazar, meaning New Marketplace, is the cultural center of southern Serbia's region with a majority Muslim population. It is one of those rare places you will find a mosque. Since it was founded by a Turkish general, you will find a lot of Turkish influence in its architecture, food, its markets, etc. So if you are planning to visit these places, these unique places in Serbia, then you must know the very first thing you need to do is rent a car. Without that, it is impossible to reach these remote, unique places in Serbia. Number four on our list is the third largest city of Serbia, Nitsch. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Located about two and a half hours approximately from Belgrade, it is much less busier than Belgrade and Novi Sad. Some of the attractions to visit here are the Skull Tower, niche fortress, Nazi concentration camps, etc. Along with lots and lots of driving, such an itinerary or such places require lots of hiking. So if you guys are interested in hiking to such places or you hike generally, then you will have no problem whatsoever in choosing these destinations and visiting them. Number five, located in a region I promise you haven't heard of. Stara Planina. This is the region. The place you are visiting here is Rosomaka Canyon. I swear I am so sorry if I have butchered the pronunciation but you can google it. One of the most unique hikes you will ever do in Serbia. It is an hour away from the previous attraction, Nietzsche. As for the driver's license uh, requirement in Serbia, since I am from Dubai, Dubai license is enough for you to rent a car and drive around in Serbia. If you're from anywhere else, I believe you need an international license to rent a car and be able to drive yourself in Serbia. One of the most beautiful waterfalls I've seen in Serbia is Stupavica waterfalls. This is an hour and a half away from the previous attraction. If you want, you can actually club them uh, together in one day. Ideally, that's uh, what I would recommend. This is also a hike, but it's a short two to three kilometer hike to visit these waterfalls. It's only 25 meters in height, but I love the way it's more spread out. 
Generally, people visit Eastern Serbia on a day trip. How much can you see in a day, any which ways? And Eastern Serbia is just as far. It's a good two, three hour drive from Belgrade. So, these are the next few places that are located in Eastern Serbia that people rarely visit. Like I mentioned, people do visit Eastern Serbia, but unfortunately on a day trip. I recommend staying here to explore all the places comfortably at your own pace. If you want to skip the crowd and visit Risava Caves, I suggest wake up bright and early and visit before all the day trip tour buses flock to it. It opens at 9 am and it is located about 2 hours away from Belgrade. One last thing I have to mention that since this is the natural beauty of Serbia that you have never seen because it is so remote and so unique. You cannot expect to stay in 5 star hotel luxurious accommodations in these places. You may get 3 or 4 star hotels or guest houses. In my opinion guest houses are far more hospitable and warm to stay in but that's entirely up to one's choice but I just want to set your expectations right. Number 8 is Lysine Waterfalls also called Veliki Book. Uh, I'm so sorry if I have not pronounced it correctly but this is about 20 to 30 minutes away from the previous attraction the Risava Caves. It is also a gorgeous waterfall and you should not miss this if you are coming to Eastern Serbia. Summer is the best time to visit all these waterfalls in its true form. Since I am such a water lover, you will see a lot of rivers, lakes and waterfalls in my recommendations always. Number 9, I cannot pronounce this national park but this is located about 2 hours away from Belgrade. Uh, this is also Eastern Serbia but it is a lot further than the previous two attractions I mentioned. You'll have to probably switch accommodations if you are exploring this national park. There are several hiking trails here, there's a viewpoint here from where you can witness the deepest and the narrowest part of the Danube. Make sure you arrive early and spend an entire day here because there is way too much to discover in this gorgeous national park. So if you don't realize, all these places require a lot of hiking and road tripping and walking and all that kind of stuff. Basically, it is super active. The same fashion, my group trip that I'm hosting later this year for a week to Serbia is a super active, dynamic itinerary for a week. A couple of these places that you see in this video, you can expect on that itinerary so if you are interested in doing something truly unique and active with a group of like-minded travelers from all around the world then hit that link in the description box and express your interest today last attraction of course we have to end with waterfalls yet again these are called Vladeria waterfalls and this is located 45 minutes away from the national park this seven meter high falls fall right into the rimstone pool forming a turquoise green pond. This water is subthermal basically so the temperature is about 17 degrees centigrade. Make sure you pack your swimwear along. Serbia is more nature driven and it's mountainous so if you like and enjoy scenic road trips and don't mind long hikes then you are going to love these 10 places, these 10 remote unique places that I have mentioned in this video. Tell me which one was your personal favorite. If you guys like this video, you know what to do. Give me a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I will see you guys next week. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye guys. Cheers. In this video, my hand is hurting. Stay away from, you know. Uh,